Good morning, guys. So we're going to pick up in Chapter 10 where we left off. Um, Jordan is in art class, and he's really not giving art class a chance because he doesn't think any art class could be good except for the art school that he wants to go to. I do want to remind us of our chapter title, which is the Saki Horror Picture Show, which will clearly somewhere in this chapter we're going to be with Alexandra because she is the new student at RAD that enjoys sock puppets. So I'm going to, we kind of were last with Jordan when he was in art class and he was zoning out. So we're going to finish up the chapter. So five days later, he's still ignoring because you can see the cobweb growing out of his ear. So Mr. Picasso, what did you think of that? I don't know, Colin. I kind of hate that stuff. I want to learn how to draw real stuff, not just a bunch of scribbles. I can see that, but you still should give it a chance. It might be fun. I mean, what's the worst that can happen? I'm blind! I guess I could give it a chance. Thanks, Colin. No problem, dude. Hey, can I ask you a question? Shoot. So, you seem pretty cool. Why do you hang out with Andy? <laughs> You're not the first person to ask me that. He really is a decent guy, but I know he can cross the line sometimes. Sometimes? If the line is here, then Andy is all the way by Ford Field. True, but there are times when he can be really funny, too. Here comes Andy. Hey everyone, may I have your attention please? Has someone lost a child? Oh. He's making fun of Jordan because he's short. Is this one of those times? Not funny, Andy. Here comes Drew. Oh, what's up, Drew? Come on, we don't want to be late for our class. I know she can go out for a winter sport. Are you scared? Yeah, that's it, Andy. I'm petrified of wrestling and hockey. And don't get me started on squash. Well, since everyone has to do a spring sport, I dare you to try out for baseball. Wait a minute, squash is a sport? No wonder Maury looks so confused. Jeez, what is it with you two? I have no idea, but if that's what he wants, that's what he'll get. So I'm thinking that Andy thinks that he might be better than Drew in certain sports, but I'm thinking because Drew took his spot as the quarterback, but I'm thinking that maybe Drew's a little more athletic than Andy. Math class. So Andy's presenting. And by adding solar panels to all the trains, we can have a clean and sustain sustainable railroad system. Well done, Mr. Peterson. Does anyone have any questions? Uh-oh, here's Drew. Did you do the calcula calculations to see how much energy one panel can produce and then multiply it to see if your train could actually move fast enough to make the investment worth it? Excellent point, Mr. Ellis. Why don't you redo your calculations and give your report again once they work out? There's Andy after math class. I guess Drew showed him. That was so cold, but awesome. He deserved it. True. Gotta run. My dad's picking me up. Up for a little Call of Duty with Liam later? Sure, I can play a bit around seven, but just for a game or two, and then I gotta study. Cool. Catch you later. So now Jordan's waiting for his dad. Stuck in traffic, will be late. <sighs> well, at least the day can't get any work. Oh, no, it starts to rain. Hey, Woo Jordan. Would you like to share an umbrella with us while we wait for our rides? I guess. Good. Say hi to Oscar. Oscar? Like Oscar? Like Oscar the Grouch from Sesame Street. He was my fave. But I never liked the fact that he was a grouch, so I made mine happy. See? Wonk. Well, of course he was a grouch. Wouldn't you be if your friends sang and danced while you lived in a garbage can? Why didn't anyone help him? Oh, gee, I never thought of it that way. So, I guess you don't like Oscar, huh? No, it's not that. I'm sorry, Alexandra. Then you don't like me? It's okay. Nobody does. I know everyone thinks I'm weird. This is where you're supposed to tell me that no one really thinks I'm weird, even though they really do. 
Uh, sorry, Alex. My grandpa says always never comfort someone with a lie. Don't be so sorry, Jordan. I respect your honesty. Oh, here. Thanks. So there I was in the rain talking to the weirdest kid in my grade, maybe even in the whole school, hoping with all my might that maybe she's not as weird as everyone thinks she is. And maybe she'll stop carrying around those stupid puppets and stop talking in that annoying puppet voice so people would see how nice she is. But deep down, what I was hoping for most of all, and I mean really with hoping with all my might, was that she wasn't about to kiss me. That's how it always happens in movies. You share a moment and then bam, next thing you know, you're a couple. I love you, Jordy. I love you more, Wexy. So I made sure that we never stop talking. Girls always kiss you during awkward pauses. Can I ask you a question, Alex? Sure. What's up with the puppets? Oh, uh, well, it's kind of hard to talk about, but I guess I can tell you. You're never mean to me, Jordan. Um, one day, when I was playing with my little brother, Ian, my mom was making spaghetti. She used to make it every Wednesday. Anyway, the doorbell rang, and Mom went to get it. Ian's arm hit Mom's pot. I saw it flip over, like, in slow motion. I rushed to get him out of the way so he wouldn't get burned. He didn't, but I did. And my hand, on my hand, and a little bit on my ankle. I've been trying to hide it ever since with bandages and then gloves. Now with puppets? Yeah. So I guess you want to see it now. No, not really. I haven't shown this to anyone in years. Well, why start now? You don't. Yeah, I think I do. Besides, I trust you, Jordan. So I guess it's okay if I show you this. There's her monster arm. Oh, actually, it's not that bad. I really don't think anyone will teach you about it, Alex. Really? So in Alex's mind, this is what it looks like, but it's really not that bad. Hey, it's our parents. Promise not to tell. But why? You saved your little brother. You're a hero. Well, okay, you can tell one person. Deal. Bye, Jordan. Oops, I didn't mean to use the puppet voice. Sorry I'm late. How was your day? Where do I start? I really enjoyed this chapter because it showed us that maybe people act in a certain way for reasons that we don't really know. We learned here that Alexandra is covering her hand with a sock puppet because she doesn't want people to make fun of the burns on her arms. Even though, like Jordan said, she's a hero. Gives you something to think about. Next reading will be chapter 11, Scro Field of Screams. I think Jordan is trying out for the baseball team.